second down and two. Blitz coming from the 49ers. Touchdown from the Giants. Tiki Barber gets in on the fun. Remember this guy? Tiki Barber, how you go from this to this? Football great, and my former teammate, Tiki Barber, is here to make a big announcement. Are you guys ready to see a whole new side of Tiki? Yes! All right, give it up for Tiki Barber, everybody! Is this what you got to do for fame, riches, to be in sports entertainment? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The Lord calls it an abomination. They keep doing it over and over. We are living in the last days, and the Lord said it'll be just like this. My name is Miss Watsy. And I am. Okay. Oh, I'm oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm Miss Watsy, and I am. Yeah. 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 So I wanted to inform you I am coming out as a lesbian today. Oh my God! Yeah. They are after our children. They really want them. The Lord says to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Just like Satan, he probably uses the same verse, but teach him wickedness and not the ways of God. Look at these next few clips. An Indiana pastor lost his job after appearing on TV with drag queens. Reverend Craig Duke was at the was the minister at Newburgh United Methodist Church in Newburgh, Indiana for three decades. And he said he wanted to demonstrate solidarity with the LGBTQ community by appearing in drag on the HBO series We're Here. After appearing on the show, the pastor says he started getting attacked over email by people in his congregation. This went on for months until Duke made it clear to his supervisor what was happening. Duke claims he was bullied out of the church. In November, his supervisor sent an email to the congregation announcing Duke was being relieved of his pastoral duties. I mean, what part of the Bible are you reading to tell you that it's okay to go be a drag? Where in the Bible does it say so? That church, the head pastor, all should be ashamed of this. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. It should have been some type of signs or something. It just, I don't know, man. So with many other exhortations, John proclaimed the good news to the people. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated, and I'd like to invite any children, and I'd like to invite any children, and I'd like to invite any children or people who would like to see a picture book that I will be showing on the iPad here. Anyone who'd like a closer view of that to come up and sit. Um, I should set that somewhere back. Um, <laughs> come up and sit somewhere on the ground here. I have an awesome story to share with you today. I'm really excited to share it with you. I have a question first though. Have any of you ever seen a drag queen? Yeah. No. No, is this so this is everybody's first time they're ever seeing a drag queen? Well, hello. Um, I am also a boy most of the time when I'm here, but today I <laughs> so, I remember when I was younger, they will always use the term that Satan is trying to get into the church. But as I got older and read the Bible for myself, Satan has always been in there through wrong doctrines, through wrong teachings, through allowing things that the Lord hates. And as you can see from this last clip, you can see it clearly. And as I told you earlier, they're after the children. That's why he called the children up. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Did you hear the people that were sitting there? They were applauding this, enjoying it. Pleasure in unrighteousness. It's time to repent. We in the last days, repent.